The number of electric cars on our roads is increasing rapidly. We already see them in large numbers on car carriers and in growing numbers on our Ropax ferries. Due to the possibility of thermal runaway in a lithium-ion battery, electric cars pose different challenges to firefighters than fossil fuel vehicles. On our ships, the fixed systems are the most important firefighting measures. Drencher systems perform equally well, regardless of fuel source in cars. In some cases, however, it may be necessary to intervene manually near a burning car. This film is intended to illustrate methods and important aspects of manual firefighting on electric vehicle on board a Ropax vessel. The European Maritime Safety Agency EMSA has developed guidelines for fighting fires in electric vehicles on RORO ships. Taking these guidelines into account, there may be several reasons for manual intervention. As a proactive measure in the event of increased fire risk. If it is a clearly safe and reasonable alternative. If needed as a supplement to fixed firefighting systems or if these do not work to save lives and during stable conditions after the fire. These guidelines specify among other things, to approach from safest direction considering direction of gas and smoke flow, and possible jet flames. They also specify maximum smoke exposure of 40 minutes, this requires that crew will need to be rotated with rest in between. Fire in the electric cars that do not affect the battery should be suppressed as a conventional car fire. Cool the battery and surrounding vehicles to prevent fire spread. After extinguishing the fire, cool down the car and battery, and observe until they are safely ashore in the port. The EMSA guidelines can be found in this link. The following movies show how these manual firefighting measures are carried out. It should be noted that in many cases methods does not differ from what would be applied in case of a fossil-fueled car on fire.